All right, boys. Today, we're going to be testing out and trying a game called Waste Punk. <clears throat> so, in all seriousness, though, this game has a bunch of genres tagged to it on the Steam page. So, I'm not actually sure what I'm supposed to expect. It has Extraction Shooter, Post-Apocalyptic, Looter Shooter, PvE. It has a lot of things tagged to it. So, I'm kind of interested in seeing what actually is the deal with this game whenever playing it. Uh, they do have a roadmap and such. And also, as you see on the actual game itself, the price will be... 2.99. So this is going to be a really cheap game. If it is actually pretty good, hey, it should sell pretty well. Anyways, though, let's go ahead and get into the game and let's see what it has to offer. Oh, all right, we're in. Holy shit, the sensitivity is like 10 plus. Oh my gosh. All right, and it looks like you cannot actually change the sensitivity as well. At least, unless if I'm blind, I, I don't see anything here. But let's go ahead and keep on keep on moving. I got a nice little hat on me too. I got everything going for me. It said this is, so this is third person only, I think. I don't think there is actually a uh, first person in this game. Unless there's a thing here. It doesn't look like it. Let's see. Travel to Dead Town. God, the music is loud too. Oh, of course you can't change the music. All right. <laughs> Crafting table interact. Let's see, pipe weapon, 2X metal pipe, uh, 0.45. Big iron, one metal pipe, two gun parts, 12 gauge, one metal pipe, two gun parts, six gun parts for the nine millimeter. Uh, five, five, six pipe rifle is two gun, two metal pipes, six gun parts. And it looks like that's all you can craft right now, along with ammo being mainly ammo casings and uh, explosive powder or powders. Uh, all right. So escape just opens up this menu. I don't, I think I just bugged it. Hold up. Maybe there we go. I had to reenact with it. A little bit of a buggy menu, that's to be expected. It's a demo, of course. Yeah, so let's go ahead and just leave, I guess. Let's just see. So this this game, this sensitivity is disgusting. Like, here is, here's me going across my whole entire mouse pad. Oh my god, I can almost do two rotations in total. That's crazy. That is crazy. At 400 DPI. Alright, so I do see there's like some marker over here. Let me see if I can actually go over here and... what Whatever the hell this is. Oh, it looks like this is like a little extract. So whenever I do want to leave, maybe. Or maybe I can... Maybe I'm supposed to loot, go to the extracts, go back, craft, come back out. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. So far, though, the game doesn't seem terrible, right? But it doesn't seem pretty pretty much put together as well as it should be. I heard something. Oh, there's a worm! What? What is with me and playing games lately and there's been sandworms? I swear to God. This is the third one I've seen in the past, like, three games I've played. I, I don't understand. What, is Dune really making that much of an influence on games? What, what's going on? Okay, so as far as I can tell, though, at least from the fact that this one is just another extract, I think all of these markers are just extracts. So there's no reasoning for me to go towards them right now, at least. You're starving? Get something to eat. I'm on my way, man. Try to get something. Oh, there's a camper van. Maybe it has loot. Okay, some breakfast cereal. Got it. So what? I guess. Okay. So tab is where I can see stuff. So I have a, how much I could sell it for probably, and then one X. Let's see. Can I, use? I don't think that did anything. Let's interact with this food tray. I don't know if I actually want this transfer. I guess. The controls are a little wonky. I'll be honest. It's kind of weird that you have to like transfer. You don't have to, like pick the item by itself, but maybe maybe that'll make sense a little bit later on. Oh, I see something. There's a dude back there. Look at him. He's just chilling. He's walking. I have a feeling like he probably he'll, he'll probably kill me if I go up next to him though. So I don't want to do that. Oh, I was here first. No, the fuck you weren't. You piece of shit. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Keep backing up. This is my loot. This is my fucking loot. I take my shit. Hey, get 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 out of here. Get. Hey, get the fuck out of here. I don't know how to get out of this. Here we go. Get out of here. Get out. Okay, I got ammo casings. Hey! Alright, he seems like he's just chilling now. Yeah, I took the... Oh, 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 oh. No, no. There's still one more. There's still one more. You get the fuck out of here. Ooh! Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I got, I got a little present for you, bro. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Not today, brother. Not today. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, he's he's gone. He's dead. <laughs> what is this pistol? Let's see, so I think I have I have nine mil right here. Do I only have like one more bullet left? Is that what this is? How do I? Oh, okay. So there we go. So I put it like that, and I remove it, so I can put it in my four slot like that. I'm not sure exactly how much ammo I have. I see the nine mil cartridge, but I don't see exactly. Okay, so I guess no, that's not five. That's the hotkey. Oh well, but I got some green bucks, you know, some good old. Some V-Bucks. You could spin those somewhere. I know that C is also the holster. So, if you don't have your gun out, maybe they don't attack as much. Food scraps. Use slash equip. Okay, so it did actually fill it up a little bit. I saw that one that time. That one also filled it up a little bit more. This is just junk. We're just gonna... Can we just drop this? Let's do that. You know, in all honesty, I feel like this game... Could be popular if it's just a free-to-play game and then the dude just adds like a support pack to the game right i feel like that might be a little bit better of an angle for the sales i don't know oh oh, oh there's a lot of them back there i we got we got dodge and weave dodge and weave i played too much daisy i know how to oh i'm not good at it oh stop it bro. why are they so fast Yeah, I hit him. I don't know how much ammo I have. I am... Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I am dead. Let's just see. Do we... Maybe maybe we do keep some of the stuff? I don't think we do. I think... I'm pretty sure we have to reset. Yeah. Alright, let's go back. This fucking time. This motherfucking time. I'm not dying. I'm not going down without a proper fight. I'm surviving. I wonder if I can actually go check my loot. Let's see. Can we loot our body? Ah, nope. Doesn't look like your body actually stays. So if you do die, all your loot is gone. There is no resetting or retrieving items that you lost. Let's test this out, I guess. Let's see. We got one metal pipe. We got a broken plate. Let's extract. Because we're, we're going to die anyways if we stay here. Unless... It may have stopped, honestly. Let's just see. Extraction. Ooh. Get out of my place. What? Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Travel to base? Wait, so even on in the extract, you have, like, sort of a chance to die? Is that what this means? Is there's a dude here? Interesting. So it's not as easy to get back. Maybe you can, like, run into a random just machine gun dude and just die. Right, let's see this. So this should be my base now. Um, explosive powder. So I guess let's just transfer every one of these, right? Let's just see. Oh, I actually have stuff in the base too that I can get. Let's just go ahead and grab some stuff. Oh, a pipe weapon. Okay. That could be useful. You just shoot! Take it! Eventually he'll die. <laughs> Eventually he'll die, right? There's no way. Oh my god! That took so many to... <laughs> that took so much to kill that dude. Alright, so the metal pipe is pretty dookie. Don't use this weapon in this game. Wow. I, don't even, I wonder how many shots it takes to kill them too. Okay, so I see some 9 mil on the ground. I wonder if his pistol went anywhere in the ground. I want that. I don't think it did. Alright, well, we got a lot of stuff. I think we should probably extract at this point. I don't really want to lose everything, and if enemies just randomly pop up on you like that, it's basically a GG. Like, we, we probably need to leave anyways. I'm killing these dudes, though. I'm getting their loot. Oh my god, they're not tanky at all. Fuck you! We seem to be good. Everything's holding pretty well. So let's go ahead and let's exit out of this. Let's eat some of this breakfast cereal. Food in this game seems pretty not insane, though. Like, I've been eating a lot, and it's just... It's not enough. I want to make the 5.56 pipe rifle, but gun parts seem pretty just annoying to find. All right, let's go out again, though. Let's see. Let's we'll see if we can find any gun parts. Gun parts! Ooh, I found some gun parts! Okay, there we go. Found one gun part. That's good. 
That's bit. What the? F what are those? Oh no! There's like some irradiated dudes that just spawned. Oh! They actually did not do that much damage. I don't know if I want to win this. It's going to be very close. Oh my god, I want it. Holy shit. Okay. They dropped loot. Anti-rides and everything. Holy fuck. <laughs> that, was, that was way too close. Oh my gosh. The stim pack, actually, that helped me. Okay. So this game also has a little bit of, like, Fallout elements, it seems like. Because you have stim packs, which they just call stimmies in this. And then you have anti-rads, which are for the radiation. I see a little radiation bar in my little hotbar, too. A little health bar, not hot bar. Hit him! I got him. There we go. <laughs> a little bit difficult to aim in this. <laughs> Alright, more gun parts. Perfect. We've had a lot of gun parts this run. Uh, I say that and I see that we've only gotten two, actually. <laughs> Some of that. What? Oh, no, that's, that's guns. That's guns. That's guns. Run, 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 run. We can't take a gun battle. We can't take a gun battle. We gotta extract. We gotta extract. Survive! Survive! They were good. I think I think we're actually completely fine. <laughs> the music stopped. <laughs> I do see that every time that you go through this, though, it does reset all of your keybinds and shit. Hey, you come the fuck over here. You come the fuck over here. Get over here. Don't go in the dark. All right, so two keys for the flashlight. I've noticed that now. I can actually see in the dark. Let's see, we got some uh, some breakfast cereal. It doesn't have a pipe to it. Look at this guy. What a loser. What a loser. Imagine dying in this. I could never. All right, let's go ahead and extract. Go back to the base. We have tons of loot this time. So, a little bit happy. A little bit happy on that one. It would be really nice if the developer did a transfer all button on each one of these instead of having to make you do this for each one. I'm gonna be honest. What is this guitar riff going on? What is this? Oh, shit. Ah, dang. Locate the travel junction near Blackwater Church. Mm. I'll drink a water. You piece of shit. Holy shit, that thing gave me 25 XP. Oh, some gun parts, 9 mil too. They're pretty easy to dodge the attacks from too. Shit, we might need to go sandworm hunting. I do want to see what the Blackwater Church stuff is though. I really do. I want to see where that is. I wish the game would kind of like give me a little bit more of a sense of where to go, right? Because as far as I like see, everything is kind of just a... Uh, it looks very similar, you know? Everything just looks too, too similar. I don't see a specific thing that looks like a church or anything like that. Holy shit. I think I see the marker for where I need to go. That one's different than the other ones. The other ones are all yellow arrows. This one has a red arrow. I think this is it. Oh my god, there's people here too. No! Why is there so many fucking... I gotta extract. I got... Okay, it seems like I kept the pipe, even though I definitely just died. I don't I don't know, if I hold through this, is it just gone? Maybe you keep whatever you accidentally, like, whatever you have in your quick slot. Man, I lost so many gun parts that run. Let's go ahead and let's just keep running, though, and let's see if we can get to the church again. Oh, well, the pipe is gone now. <laughs> so I've kind of figured it out. Basically, wherever you spawn, it seems like the church is on the opposite direction. So if I keep running this way, I should get to the church, I believe. I'm also wondering, though, if this is going to be the end of the demo once I get to this church. What if it just says, hey, congrats, you made it to the church. Demo over. Wishlist on Steam. You, you can quote me on that. Oh, I see it. Okay. So I was right. This is the actual, this is the correct way to get there. But let me just make sure. I do see a bandit over there. I'm going to go, like, probably... All the way around to see if I can get to this. 
what is happening right now. There is no way this is all a radiation zone. What in the... Can I make this? Okay. It looks like we're going to make it. What in the hell? Oh, don't die of hunger. Extract. You made it. Thank you for playing. Oh, wow. Quote me on it. What did I say? What did I say? So that's it. That's the only... That's that's all that there is to the demo. You can craft weapons and you can do all this, but... uh, Yeah. Let's just extract. Let's go back. Right. Let's go back into our, our base. Alright, but anyways... I know we didn't craft the OPS weapons for this game. I know we didn't do that, but let's be honest. We already know what they're going to be like and everything. I think this game's a cool idea, right? It's more of like a single player extraction shooter, whereas every other extraction shooter is a multiplayer ordeal. Is this game something that seems amazing? No, but I could see it, like a little crowd for it, right? A little crowd if the developer actually further makes it into something and polishes it. Um, like I said, I think this game would be a lot better launching at free to play with a support pack option, right? Just like Unturned did, they launched free to play. The game was amazing. Everybody loved it, but they had a $5 support pack so you can buy like cosmetics and stuff. That is such a nicer deal to me than launching the game at like a $4 price tag. Even though, even though it's cheap, play, some players are going to look at it and they're going to be like, oh, this is just the easiest, you know, the, the, the graphics are easy. The development time doesn't look that insane. A lot of this stuff could just be assets that the developer bought or and just like put around which because they are low poly they wouldn't be that much right you guys comment say exactly what you like about this game what do you hate about this game uh give me your thoughts on it regardless of whether they're negative or positive other than that though thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out